we're going to put the tank back on here our, uh, again just our, um, uh, unlike the uh, Haynes manual and other um, manuals on how to take and stuff and put it apart and where they put that terrible sentence our, uh, refitting is the reverse of, of undoing I'm going to break, our, uh, just give you some brief pointers on what, what to uh, put back together so on the top of the tank there is that pipe our, um, that we need to our, um, so that's the water drain away our, um, this is the fuel return our, uh, and uh, there's that connector at the side there that our, uh, we are um, uh, that we are snagged as we were taking off the bike uh, the tank off the bike don't forget that connector as well and that that needs to be pushed pushed home we think it looks pretty well square and center our, um, the screw holes at the moment are, uh, look as though they're pretty well bang on I can see there's a, a, a hole all the way down the middle there so we're going to put the six the big six mil bolt bolt down there oh uh, we'll put down the uh, um, our, uh, the flap at the bottom there and that's that's all good and then it's just a case of beginning to put together all the rest of the uh, um, bits and pieces on this our, um, and once we've done that uh, um, we are going to uh, tackle the delivery pipe Oh, this is fun. Right, uh, this is where the main uh, fuel flow is. Our, um, so we've got to reconnect that electrical connector to that side. And uh, there's the fuel hose our, uh, from the tank and uh, to the delivery to the fuel injection system. So we've got to put that back on. So in your kit of bits in the Scott Euler our, uh, box, you will find this disc. Do you remember we need to actually first uh, stick on the control module onto the metal bracket? And for those who don't remember, it's basically that metal bracket that we fitted in the first part of the video. So that needs to go on there. Now I've had uh, correspondence with Scott Euler and they reckon that this will stick uh, uh, come not May are, um, I'm yet to be convinced are, um, there may or well need to be some kind of are, uh, plan B are, um, uh, my thoughts were maybe some kind of velcro but are, uh, we'll give it a whirl and see how we get on with it and just like that it is stuck on are, um, I probably could have done it slightly are, uh, better In my eyes that looks at a slightly jaunty angle anyway our, um, it's on and that is the most important thing. Next, we're going to go and tackle the RMV and the delivery down uh, of the pipework down onto the rear sprocket. Okay, so unlike the V system where the oil comes out of the bottom, and this is the RMV here, our, um, you'll notice there's absolutely nothing at the bottom there than a blanking plug. So the oil does that in fact get uh, uh, pumped out out the top just here and uh, um, that is uh, basically what, what we need to just slightly trim because you could uh, uh, fit everything in together, try and focus, and uh, uh, you could actually find that it would just not work. Part of the thing is that that is actually our, um, it's a moulded piece of plastic. Just needs literally snipping off with a, uh, a pair of sharp um, uh, cutters. Uh, just a tiny, tiny little, little bit. You don't want to take it down down too far. Bearing in mind that that's that's the side profile, uh, um, and those are, are the bits that are used to grip onto the uh, the pipework just there. So generally, probably I would probably take it take it down to there where the top of my thumbnail is, uh, and we'll see how we get on with it. Uh, not 100% happy with that uh, with that cut, but it will do. Uh, um, and I've had to use a leather doweler uh, um, on my Swiss Army knife just to open up that hole a bit, really. Uh, um, I was debating, have I done this right? I mean, there's nowhere else for the oil to come out, and it's definitely not, not there because that's where the oil actually gets filled in. And in my particular case, that's where the traveller is going to be uh, uh, put on to anyway. So that is basically at the top there. That is definitely where, where the oil comes out. And I have confirmed that using the instructions. 
which actually show it in that particular way, just about there. So you can actually see at the very, very, very top there, that's where uh, the bit that I've just cut, just in the middle, um, just about there, that's the bit I cut. And you can also see uh, the connection to the external reservoir is just at the side there as well. So um, kind of shown a little bit better in, the, in that. In that, It doesn't help that uh, unfortunately in this particular uh, um, uh, diagram, that's from a V system. Um, this one is from an E system, uh, this diagram here. So hopefully that's, uh, uh, that, that shows it in a better light. On the floor here, I have an unmanageable coil of pipework uh, um, that uh, uh, comes with the kit of bits. Now, at the end here, you notice that is the delivery tube that's going to be going onto the rear sprocket, just like that. Uh, um, and that is uh, um, really important to note. You don't deliver down here, you don't deliver there, you deliver it in that tiny little groove just there. And that is so that the oil just basically gets dropped onto that and then centrifugally uh, um, distributes out to the chain. Um, now with this single delivery side option, uh, uh, it does tend to del uh, um, deliver oil more onto one side than it does on the other. Um, that's not a major issue. Uh, um, it just means that you have to uh, make sure that uh, uh, you keep your chain links, the outer chain links, well lubricated, uh, um, uh, as this system will only lubricate the inner O-rings of the motorcycle chain, and uh, um, that will sort of uh, uh, make it uh, uh, easier to sort of process in, in that respect. So. Uh, um, you can do that, or, um, or you can say you can get, get the get the dual delivery, both sides delivery system. Underneath here, Scott Oiler recommend that, that plate just there, uh, which is the chain guard plate uh, for the rear sprocket, uh, uh, is used to mount uh, the attachment for delivery. Uh, um, now, in terms of the route in which you run your uh, um, uh, pipe work. Going underneath here, you can see you do actually have quite a nice flat area. What I suggest you do, uh, uh, go and wash that area uh, uh, first of all and it will make a massive massive difference in terms of being able to stick the, uh, um, the tubing uh, onto that bottom plate. Um, you want to be in a situation where the cabling uh, or the tubing runs seamlessly all the way along and if I switch on my light uh, there we go that makes it even better like that so switching on the light shows you that that is a little bit dirty that I mean that's just throw off from, from, from the chain and it runs all the way up and along now you can see at this point then uh, uh, it gets into a lip and what you want to try and do is you want to try and run it behind the, uh, um, the foot peg and then up and behind, making sure you don't foul the chain in any way, shape or form. There's the RMV just uh, at that particular location. And you wanna run it up behind here and then under a loop that will then come back down and deliver into the RMV, into the top of the RMV as we've uh, discussed earlier on. So. That's what we're now going to try and do. So this is the point where we're coming to look at how we're going to mount the uh, um, the delivery tube onto the rear sprocket. Uh, uh, this bike example, obviously in the sheet, is a lot shinier than mine. However, uh, what I have done is I have removed uh, the backing plate. Now, if we look here uh, uh, on the example as shown up there, that is a very different design to what is actually in there and uh, um, but the same principle does apply what we want to actually do is we want to actually try and mount that on like that so um, and obviously the hose clamp now I suspect that what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to modify this uh, this bracket somewhat 
I reckon I'm going to need to take out all of that plastic along there so I can actually fit in uh, the delivery. Bearing in mind that that whole thing is going to be like that. Uh, um, and uh, so it's uh, this side just here that we need to actually uh, modify and probably get rid of, of that. Uh, um, I've actually uh, cleaned up this bracket a bit. It was a bit, bit oily and a bit uh, uh, covered with uh, 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 with old chain lube, etc. and so on. Uh, uh, you can see there the part number if you were, uh, need to ever get another one. 603-04-070-000 and that's from, from KTM. They're not expensive bits, but... Uh, 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 um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and start the modification process. Modification pl complete to the chain guard uh, for the rear sprocket there. Uh, um, so all you need to just literally achieve is to make sure that that actually just fits on just like that. So hence you see why you just need to uh, 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 remove some of the profile. I'm just sort of moving that. I've just used a, uh, a pen knife just to make that uh, uh, that curve like that. It um, doesn't affect the, the structural weakness. If you were to remove the whole whole part of the chain guard, then yes, possibly, but uh, 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 this is a very old, tough piece of plastic, uh, uh, as my uh, pen knife will attest to. Uh, um, and so now what we need to do is we now need to just uh, um, mount that all up back onto the rear sprocket. So I think we've got it there. Uh, um, that's now looking quite a lot more positive. So in terms of the actual uh, clamp itself, let me just take that off here. Uh, um, I had to just ever so slightly squeeze in these points. What should happen is that whole black rubber tubing there should just literally uh, um, almost feel as though it clips in there securely, not overly tight. If, it, if it, you've struggled to get in there, you probably press down the edges here and here too much. Uh, um, if it just literally clips in there, that, that's fine. Uh, uh, and you use uh, um, the Jubilee clip supplied there and you just tighten up around uh, the gap just around there. That's gonna go on like that. And I suspect that uh, um, what we'll do is we will run the uh, cable, um, sorry, not the cable, uh, the piping down below uh, the chain guard down there and along, along the bottom of the chain guard just like that. So uh, um, that's, I suspect, is how it's going to work.